everyone, I'm Jessie from Nailed It NZ and today I'm doing a different kind of tutorial. This one will show you how you can create some awesome animal print keys just using nail polish. I did this with different designs about a year ago too, so I'll link that one down below in case you're more into those looks. Before we start, here's a key from last year so you can see how well they last. One side's pretty much perfect still, the other's a bit worn, but it does last pretty well. I'm just cleaning it off with nail polish remover to prepare it for the next design. Please thumbs up, subscribe and share this video if you like it and thanks for watching. Okay so first I'm just using lint free wipes and isopropyl alcohol to clean all the keys. If you don't have this just scrub them in water or else use nail polish remover to clean them. Once that's done paint a coat of polish on one side of each key. For these designs, one should be orange, two white, one yellow and one a lighter orange. Let them dry and then do a second coat, or however many is necessary. Do the same to the other side of the key while holding it, and once it's done you'll need to let them dry for a while. Do this by sticking the unpainted part of the key to a table with some blue tack, and then putting something heavy like a book over it so it doesn't fall off. I'm starting off with a cow print nail now and of course I'm using my Nail to NZ detail brush for it. I'm going in with black polish and outlining a lumpy shape on three areas of the key and then filling them in. Once that's done I'm just adding a little more lumpy spots wherever I think it's necessary just to make it look a bit better. But don't go too overboard of this. Fill everything in and that's about it for this design, it's super easy. The next design is zebra print and again I used the detail brush for this. This did make the stripes nice and thin but it did take ages so you might want to use a striping brush instead, up to you. Anyway I just used black and started in the middle and then made a lot of thin lines across the key. Try to make them trail off into a thin tip and then give them a slight wave to make them look more natural. Some can join, some can just be on their own. Just go with what you think looks good. Once that's done, we'll move on to the giraffe print. This is on the yellow key and is kind of similar to the cow print as we'll paint on the shapes first and then colour it in. Giraffe print has heaps of very loosely square shapes, so paint these on and then fill them in with brown polish. Easy as. The tiger one is my favourite and I'm using the darker orange key for this. Use a makeup sponge to dab on a few other shades of orange and white to give it some texture and then use black to create some lines. As you can see the striping brush was a dream to use for this, I really need to use it more often. Once it's all filled in on both sides, leave it to dry and we'll do the last key. This one is a popular design in nail art and like with the tiger I'm creating some texture first, this time with yellow and white. Once that's dried, use a dotting tool to make some rounder shapes in medium brown polish that go right across the key. Let that dry for a bit and we'll finish it up with some black. Still using the dotting tool, paint some black C's, use lines and dots around the brown ones to create the leopard print look. Once that's done, create a few more black marks in between those ones. This is optional though, it depends what look you're after. I decided to then tidy up the edges with some silver polish and then with a subtle glitter over the top. This will come off the quickest but it does make it look a bit nicer. And that's the painting done. I then just really carefully applied a top coat on all areas of the keys and left them to dry the same way as before. You want them to dry for a good few hours before using them, even if you did use a quick dry top coat. I hope you liked this easy little nail hack and I'd love to see your recreations. Tag me on Instagram or share on Facebook, all the links are down below. Check out my nail art brush store down below too. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and thumbs up and I will see you next week.